kitchen cooking up one of Walt's favorite recipes. That's right, and who knew it's chili? Chili that they still serve today at the Carnation Cafe in Disneyland. So I'm super excited to give it a try. He was a big fan of those home-cooked meals. And we dressed up for the occasion. We did. May the forks be with you. And Chef Mickey is here to help us out as well. So let's get cooking. So first thing first, Tony? Is prep, right? Always prep. So we are going to dice up an onion, some tomatoes, a bell pepper, and some garlic. Yum. All right, let's get started. So Disney is known for their iconic restaurant. So can we talk a little bit about what's one of your favorites? Sure. So the first time I ever tried duck was actually at the Nine Dragons restaurant at Epcot and Walt Disney World. And I have to say, the, the meal was fantastic. I loved it. I still love Duck to this day. And I really want to get back to that restaurant. You know what's another cool restaurant at Epcot is the Coral Reef, because you're actually underground in a, a giant aquarium. And you can you sit there and you eat and you watch the fish swim by. It's really a cool setting. My kids even love that going to that one. And what kind of food do they serve there? They actually do serve seafood at the Coral Reef. It's really a neat restaurant. And if you're looking for a sit down location, I highly recommend that one. Now let's talk finger foods. Disney is known for their finger foods, their turkey legs, that sort of thing. Do you have a favorite? Uh, the churros, oh, for sure. Yes. Yeah, I love them. And I have to say, I also like Disney's quick service restaurants because of the theming, right? It still feels like you are in Walt Disney World whenever you're at one of the quick serve restaurants. I totally agree. And I love that they now have upgraded their technology so that you can order online. You don't have to wait in line and you can just go pick it up on your, through your app. And especially with kids, no waiting around, it's fantastic. Right, that's quick and easy. All right, so we are all done with our prep. So let's go over to the stove now. All right, Tony, so we have our oil nice and hot. Next in, or first in actually, is the stew meat. The stew meat. Yes, this is a very hearty recipe. So you're going to brown your stew meat for about five to 10 minutes. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's seared pretty good on every side. And that's really just to lock in all the flavors. All right, Amy, here you go. All right, so we are gonna do just the bell pepper and the onions now. And you're just gonna cook them until soft. So that usually takes about eight minutes or so. Um, you wanna make sure that your onions are nice and translucent. So then the next step is going to be adding in the ground beef. So this is a two step process with the meat. So we're gonna add in that ground beef and break it up. Hit it with a little salt and pepper just to add a little flavoring and bring the flavors out. And Amy, I noticed you have not touched the temperature on the stove, right? I have not. So it's been on medium, you know, medium high the entire time. And then once we add in all the liquids, we'll drop it down to a simmer. Got it. All right, Tony, so our beef is all done and it is browned. Our veggies are smelling good. We're gonna add back in our stew meat that we browned earlier. Give that a nice stir. And then we're gonna add in all of our seasoning. All right, so we have some cumin, we have some chili powder, we have some onion powder, and we have some cayenne for a little kick. And we're gonna stir that all in and get it nice and fragrant. And then once we have that done, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So we have some diced tomatoes, a, a thing of diced canned tomatoes. Now that's with the juices. So we want that one first? We want that one first. Okay. And that'll help with the sticking on the bottom. So you dump that in and you get that little bit of juice and then you kind of stir it around and you get all those good bits of flavor up off the bottom. And that's just gonna make it taste even better. And then we're gonna add some water, just to thin it out a bit. Okay. And how much water Go do we ahead. have there, Amy? We have a cup and a half of water we're gonna add in. Stir that around for a second. And then we can add in our some tomato paste. Give it that nice, rich tomato. And I figured out Walt's secret ingredient, Tony. And how did you figure this out before I, you even tell me what it is? I read the recipe. Okay. <laughs> Well and kept secret like, there. And I was like, so that's it, is it? And that's beef base. So that's a high concentrate of beef stock. And that's going to give it a real good punch of deep flavor. So we're going to add that right in. So you see how thick that is compared to beef stock. So then our last step is to add in those tomatoes we diced earlier. Now I like to save a couple for garnish on top. So we're going to give about three fourths of it into the pot and then save some for that garnish. And then this cooks for three hours on simmer. So we're gonna put the lid on here, we're gonna cook it for three hours and then we'll be back to add in the beans. 
All right, Tony, it's been three hours. Are you hungry yet? I am. All right, last step. You have to wait 10 more minutes because we're going to drop in the beans. Okay. So these are just rinsed um, pinto beans. We're just going to drop those in. And you only have to wait about 10 minutes now that this has been nice and bubbly for about uh, three hours just to warm them up. And then it's time to eat. Great. All right, Tony, dinner's ready. Okay, I can't wait to try some of this fantastic chili. Thank you. Help you out there. All right. So at Disney, they recommend some different toppings here. I'm going to plate us up. So, of course, we had some of our diced tomatoes from earlier. That's right. You saved those off I to the side. I did. And we have a little sprinkling of cheese. And then, of course, a little dollop of sour cream. Just a dollop. Just a dollop. And did you know what Walt's favorite topping for chili is, which is a must? I'm going to guess it's saltine crackers. It is saltine crackers. So wow. you have to serve it with some saltines. And now dinner is ready. Bon appetit. All right, Tony, let's give it a try. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm. I think we did pretty good, Amy. It's delicious. It is. And so easy. I mean, this was not a difficult recipe at all. Not at all. If you would like to make it for yourself, check out the recipe at AAA.com slash Traveler360. And if you do make it, post a picture on Instagram and tag us at AAA underscore Traveler.